The Gauteng MEC for Human Settlements, Urban Planning and Cooperative Governance, Lebohang Mayile, has written a formal letter to the Johannesburg Mayor, Jeff Makubo, concerning a number of allegations of legislative and governance failures. It's alleged that the city under Makubo has failed to observe its legislative and executive responsibilities. For, all, for more on this, I'm joined by Head of Legal for the Gauteng Department of Cooperative Governance, Quinton Kuhn. Quinton, good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. Good evening, Tabo, and good evening to the viewers. It's a very strong-worded letter, very formal, very stern, very serious, generally giving a picture that there is concern, as far as the MEC is concerned, that uh, there is poor functionality at the city of Johannesburg. Am I correct? No, Tabo, you are not correct. Uh, remember, this is still allegations, and uh, like we have done all our municipalities when we receive allegations is for the MST and the Houghton Provincial Government to take all of these allegations very seriously and to treat them as such. And also, once the allegations are made, it is standard practice that we follow in terms of the Audi rule, Audi Altram Patrum rule, which is commonly referred to as the rules of natural justice, to allow the municipality and anyone else who allegations has been made of impropriety to do, allow them the opportunity to respond to those allegations. But I think it's important to note that this is still allegations at this stage. No one has been found guilty of any wrongdoing until such time as we have received a comprehensive report as the MEC has requested the mayor and the municipality uh, that we can make a determination on that and make a pronouncement thereafter. Failure to pass a budget on a deadline, it, it's more than an allegation. In fact, uh, the MEC himself had to jump in there and write a directive and give them an ultimatum to, to, to pass that particular budget. I mean, what, uh, uh, spell it out for us, the, what could have been the issue there? All right, you, uh, I didn't get the first part of the question, but I think uh, you are referring to the allegation uh, pertaining to the failure to pass the budget. Yes. So the 2021 budget uh, ultimately correct. was passed okay. after the MEC yeah. had to jump in and issue directive that that yeah. uh, 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 budget needed to be passed uh, before, I think, the 10th of July. Yeah. Look, uh, in terms of the applicable legislation dealing with the passing of municipal budgets, uh, your, the Municipal Finance Management Act requires municipalities to pass the annual budgets, uh, budgets before the start of the financial year, which is ordinarily, which is the 1st of July. Now, in the case of Johannesburg, they, at that point in time, they were not able to meet that deadline, 1st of July. And as the MFMA also required in those circumstances for the mayor to alert the provincial government in setting out the reasons why they wouldn't be able to meet the deadline, the mayor, in fact, did submit to the MEC for COCTA and the MEC for finance, indicating they had some challenges in terms of uh, meeting the deadline. Now, under those circumstances, the Constitution then empowers the provincial government under Section 139 <clears throat> to intervene in the municipality to ensure there's compliance with that statutory obligation. Now, that is exactly what the provincial government has done. The provincial government and the executive council has issued, issued a directive in terms of section 1391A of the constitution and set a deadline. I think the deadline at that point in time was to say the municipal council must pass the budget before the, the 9th or the 10th of July. In fact, they did pass the budget. However, this allegation now is that the complainant is of the view if the municipality have taken what was the necessary steps, then it would, have, it would not have been necessary to miss the deadline and it would have been passed well before the start of the municipal financial year. So, of course, as, we, as we've indicated now, now we want to allow the municipality to respond to these allegations. What is there that they could have done differently, perhaps? Sure they comply with the deadline of the 1st of July. So what should happen then to the city uh, if in, indeed these allegations are proven to be true? Look, we are currently busy with the, a, a, it's a process issue at the stakes. We are not dealing with the merits or demerits of the matter. What the MEC has done, as you will note in the statement, is acting under the powers which is vested by Section 106.1b of the 
municipal systems act the verity and patent that indicates if the MEC is of the view that serious malpractice, fraud, corruption, or any other impropriety, and in fact, if any other failure to execute statutory obligations by municipality, the MEC is then compelled to investigate such <coughs> allegations. However, what the, act, what the provision is clear, it says the MEC must have reason to believe. Now, at this stage, it means there must be some substance to the allegations uh, that is presented before the MDC. But nevertheless, I think it is just fair, once an allegation has been made against any institution or individual at municipality, is, as I indicated at the beginning of the interview, is to <coughs> ourselves observe the rules of natural justice and allow the municipality to provide us with responses to all these allegations. And once we are in receipt of those allegations, the MEC will apply its mind and make a determination on whether or not there is substance to the allegations, or on some of the allegations, or none or, or, or of them. And if there is indeed substance, then I think the, uh, the route we normally follow is then to launch a full-scale investigation in terms of Section 106.1b of the Municipal Systems Act. All right. Quentin, I appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us tonight. Head of Legal at the Gauteng Department of Cooperative Governance there, Quentin Kuhn.